Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. In this video, I want to share my experience of how to create a virtual computer which runs uh, Windows 11. Uh, I'm sure you all know that Windows 11 is the new Windows from Microsoft, but it has uh, slightly different requirements. Well, not slightly, it has completely different requirements and it does not run on all the computers. But if you are planning to use it as a virtual computer, then I think uh, you are in luck really. We should be able to run Windows 11 as a normal virtual computer. And I will share my experience as to how to do that. So first thing first, uh, let's get started. So the first is to you need to visit this uh, Microsoft uh, website, which allows you to download the Windows ISO file. I'll provide the link in the description. The ISO file is completely free from the Microsoft websites. You should not have any problems in that. So just visit this website. Uh, make sure you go into the section which says download Windows 11 a disk image. Choose Windows 11 from the drop down and press the download button. You should get an ISO file and we'll choose the language as English. Okay, so I'll say confirm and so it says link is valid for 24 hours which is fine for us so do you want to allow downloads yes i want to download that so it is in progress the download is going on and it should take roughly about yeah so it's downloading so i'll pause the video here while it finishes the download and once the download is complete I'll show you what are the next instructions um, or we can talk while it's doing the download. Well, let's, okay. The main difference uh, which is between the previous version of Windows and this version of Windows is the requirement of something called as TPM, Trusted Platform Module. It's a hardware-based encryption. Uh, there is a special chip which needs to be in your computer or your laptop, which will then encrypt your Windows 11. So that is basically required in order for you to run Windows 11. And most of us will not have this chip. We will not have this chip on our computers. It's only the modern laptops or special computers which you buy, which have this TPM built in them. So for example, my Mac does not has a TPM built into it, or even my laptop does not has TPM. So what do we do in that circumstances? Well, as I said, since you are going to be running Windows 11 as a virtual computer, we will add a virtual TPM. Yeah, so there is a virtual TPM which also exists, which can be added to the Windows uh, virtual computer configuration. That is what we are planning to do. And I'll show you in a minute how we do that. So I'll check the download here. So the download is going to take about 33 minutes. So I'm just going to pause this video. And once the download has finished, then I will uh, just take you to the next step. Okay, see you soon. Okay, uh, welcome back. The download has finished. As you can see, the file is around uh, five gigabytes in size. So it took me about uh, 25 minutes to get the download going. So yeah, so now let's proceed to the next stage. So I'll explain uh, what do we need to do in order to get the Windows 11 virtual computer running? Uh, you should definitely try this out. And it's okay. So I'll start VMware Fusion. So I already have one image, but I'll just create another one. So I'll say file new. So all it's asking for is uh, just drag the ISO file, which we have just downloaded onto here. And we should be good to go. So let's try the simple way. I'll just drag it here. Okay, and uh, yeah, continue, next, so just from the list, just choose Windows 10, it does not matter, we are creating a Windows 11 image, and continue, and once you reach uh, this screen, just go to customize the settings, because we need to modify the settings, so that uh, we satisfy the requirements for a Windows 11 computer. So what are those requirements? So there are three requirements. So let's go to the customized settings. So I'll save it here.
let me save the file first okay right so here we can select the customize the settings so the first uh, uh, thing which we need to do is make sure that the hard disk size is at least 64 gigabytes i list the requirements on the screen as well so it is very easy to follow what we are planning to do here so currently by default uh, for the virtual image which this was going to create was 60 gigabytes so it should be at least be 64 in order to meet the windows 11 requirement so i'll just change the slider so it is 70 gigabytes okay so that meets the requirement so that is the first one second one is it should have at least 4 gigabytes of ram so by default here it was 2 so i'll change it to it so that it is 4 so it is 4 gigabytes so that is requirement number 2 satisfied the third requirement is of the trusted platform module so how do we do that uh, go to encryption make sure you enable the encryption first and give any password so i'll just uh, give any password here make sure to remember the password or you can check this box remember the password okay so once we have enabled the encryption go to add device because here now we are going to add a tpm module a trusted platform module so once you say add okay so all is done so we have met the requirements for windows 11 hard disk should be at least 64 gigabytes should have at least 4 gigabytes of ram and there should be a trusted platform module and so okay so these three are met let's start the virtual machine and see if it uh, goes through successfully i am going to zoom into the virtual machine i'll run it as full screen okay we'll see how long it takes okay take you to the installation steps so i'll choose the language i'll just keep the default ones for this one just to make it simple you can change it to whatever you desire i already did a install by the way i have already done it uh, so the process works so once you reach this screen just say i don't have a product key for time being you can just do that say i don't have a product key should be all right and for in this one let's select windows 11 professional next and just select the agreement next uh choose i i always go for custom install so just choose that yeah just press next yeah and it's doing the installation so it uh, reboots quite a few times i think about 3 or 4 times it will reboot and uh, i'll take you to the screen where it does the reboot and then uh, maybe i'll if i have to pause it because if it takes too long uh, there is no point in showing the entire process here because uh, it will just uh, be very boring for you to watch watch that but i will definitely encourage you to create a windows 11 machine and uh, see if it works on your on your computer so yeah so this is going to take some time let's see how long it takes and if necessary i will pause the recording again and start it once it has finished so to save time okay i think i'm going to pause the video here and resume once i have reached this stage see you soon Okay, it's going to restart now. So let's see how it goes. Correct. So we do see the Windows logo now, which is good news. And hopefully, we should be. we should be in now uh, yeah okay. i think that's a good sign we have seen the windows logo that's the windows 11 initial screen which you just saw okay starting services
even if you are a first timer uh, this should give you some confidence if you want to create your own virtual computer i mean just you should be able to just follow the video and uh, you know should not be afraid to experiment so getting stuff ready i'll keep playing some background music so to keep you entertained otherwise we'll have some long pauses here we'll have and i have nothing to say so i'll play some background music as well By the way, uh, I wanted to wish a uh, Merry Christmas to my subscribers or to the viewers of uh, this video. This is being recorded in uh, December 2021. So yeah, it's the Christmas season here in the United Kingdom. And yes, I hope uh, you and your family have a very good Christmas. Okay. we are in the setup screen now right so is this country right to our region i'll choose united kingdom yes uh okay, that's fine let's choose this keyboard layout want to add a second keyboard layout skip no i don't want to do that Okay name your device i will just say uh let's give a simple device say win 11 yeah next hi getting things ready for you okay we are getting there this might take a few minutes don't turn off your pc okay i won't do that i'll wait for you to complete great so we have the familiar window screen but what i will do is to make it full screen just so we i'll say virtual machine uh install vmware tools what this will do is this will make sure that no uh, it also works on the retina displays or even if you have large scale 4k displays and everything this will work it will install the necessary drivers automatically inside the windows so this is what we'll do and i just say uh run that i'm showing you the complete process as to what i had to do in order to get a nice looking windows 11 virtual computer and what is the actual process involved so this video may get longer but then you'll have a full idea really if you if you want to watch it you can watch it or you can just skip it if necessary i'll just keep it as it is but i'll just uh, yeah hopefully this should be helpful to someone as to what is the entire process which we have to go through in order to get a proper virtual computer so Once this runs, installs the, all the necessary drivers for displays and everything. So 
was installing the video driver as well which is uh, what is required so now is the screen will go bang, blank and we should have everything proper as you can see the display is not nicer now it's occupying the full screen yeah fantastic looking uh, windows 11 computer fantastic okay so let's just uh, i'll just click i just close this you must restart your system okay so let's do a restart As required by windows 11 itself let's do a restart so the entire process uh, right from downloading to installation and everything is about one hour so about 25 minutes to download and the remaining 20 to 25 minutes to set up and configure and everything so yeah so expect around 45 to 50 minutes of your time uh, in creating a virtual computer which runs windows 11 and it is worth your time as we will see now it's going to reboot and it's going to start finally we have the windows screen okay let's log in okay so we are inside windows 11 virtual computer it's running on my apple imac and as we can see it's a different looking windows compared to the previous versions and previous versions of windows uh, we don't see the menus yet let's wait for it to wait for entire stuff to be initialized so the start button and everything is in the center of the screen now i don't want to go into the windows 11 review but this video was all about to how to create a virtual computer which runs windows 11 which we have done that but just to show you what the screens look like i'll just click on this for example i'll start the explorer and the icons are quite different to what they were so the visual appearance has changed Oh, as you can see the display icons are quite different and if you click on the start button so this is what the start looks like now I believe all the news and everything is here yeah yeah I think this should be it for this video what I will do is I will go into the start menu and click on power off just to shut down the system so shut it down I'll say shut down great so thanks very much for watching this video I'll stop recording and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye.